we will demonstrate the refraction of light using ray diagrams. Let's observe the first example. Similar to what we have learned in reflection, we will be using Pecky's three-step method. First, we will draw the image which is located slightly above the object. Take note that since the image is virtual, we will be drawing it using dotted lines. And when using water as the medium, the object and image distance can be measured roughly using a 4 is to 3 ratio. Second, we will draw light rays from the image to the observer's eye. Take note that the light rays beneath the water surface are imaginary, thus they are drawn using dotted lines. On the other hand, the light rays emerging from the water boundary are real, therefore they are drawn using solid lines. In the last step, we will connect solid light rays from the object to the point of incidence to complete the ray diagram. Let's take a look at another example for a better understanding. In this diagram, we have a straw that is partially inserted into a cup of water. Let's apply Pecky's three-step method again. First, we will draw the image appearing slightly above the object. Take note that since the straw is only partially submerged, the image that we observe will appear bent. Second, we will draw light rays from the image to the observer's eye. Please indicate correctly which lines are dotted and which are solid. Lastly, we will connect solid lines from the object to the point of incidence. But why does the image always appear to be in a higher position than the actual object? That is because our brains can only perceive light entering into our eyes in a straight line. Our eyes are unable to detect the bending of light due to it traveling from a denser to a less dense medium. As a result, light rays will appear to come from an image that is located above the object. 